Welcome back. One sentence, just one sentence in the city law has created confusion and frustration for property owners in downtown and preventing a historic district from moving forward. Tonight, city council debated amending the ordinance to help make things clear, but no decision was made. ABC 7's Dylan McKim has been tracking this story and he joins us now to explain this ordinance and why it has created so much pushback from the public. Yeah, that ordinance in question is 20.20. It deals with historical landmarks. Last week, the Historic Landmark Commission recommended that City Council amend just one sentence from that law that they say is causing concern and confusion. The certain section of the ordinance in question deals with regulation of historical properties. It says no person can change a historic property without approval from the city if it is designated a historic landmark at the state or national level. To Donald Savini, the chairman of the Historic Landmark Commission, that means any property with a national or state historic designation can be regulated by the city. Not all property owners within historic districts want to have the Historic Landmark Commission, you know, uh, provide oversight in their neighborhood. But in Tuesday night's council's meeting, the city says they only have control over properties within local historic districts. This is where confusion can occur. Take a look at the new proposal for a national historic district in downtown, highlighted in red. Savini interprets the law saying the city can regulate all properties in this area. However, the city says it only has control of the properties that are in the local historic district, highlighted in green. The confusion around that one sentence is what caused pushback from local property owners on the new downtown National Historic District. They say the ordinance will hurt their business. Having a complete understanding of the various impacts uh, is, is critical to building community support for it. Joe Gudenrath works with the downtown management district. He says the city needs to do better to help property owners understand the law. And that's why Savini wants to strike that one sentence. It's private property, each and every one of them. And... I want to make sure that's respected, you know, I, I don't want any sort of local government encroachment on private property rights. And I spoke to Donald Savini after the city council meeting and he had time to review the city's presentation and he told me that he does trust the interpretation of the law that the city is taking. Now, council members voted four to three to delete the item off the agenda today, but they said they will continue the process of amending the law at a later date. Reporting live in downtown, Dylan McKim, ABC7.